it's fresh and fresh. Let's go. We get out of bed, we go cast out, we take a breath. We say, okay, let's get this thing started. started. We grab our rub, we grab our bed, we get in a car. I am so excited, I know you are. Oh, yeah. We make a cast, we set the hook, and we let it go. Let it go. It's gonna be lit, just stick around and you will know. Oh, no. It's fresh and fresh. It's fresh and fresh. It's fresh and fresh. How's it going, everyone? Hope you're having an amazing day today. We are building a fishing rod rack. Now, if you guys remember, that was my first video, but today we're gonna build, build one that's way more improved, and you guys are gonna see everything happen. Please, guys, do not skip this video. Do not click off. Right now, I'm gonna show you some little CAD drawings that I made of what's gonna happen today. Hopefully, you guys get a good feeling of what's gonna happen today, what it's gonna look like, what we're gonna be looking for, and just don't go away. And if you really, really don't care about the CAD drawings, even though they're super cool, you can just skip to this time up here. But guys, fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a ride. All right, guys, we have now entered the realm of CAD. Now, here's the final product that we're gonna try our best to do. Here we have two bottom shells. This bottom one all the way on the bottom, it's gonna be completely screwed in from the sides to the actual thing to keep it, you know, steady and not falling. And then these are all three removable drawers with those little nubs on the bottom to keep them there. And then if we just zoom in here, this back one is going to be nail or this back one is going to be screwed to the actual thing. And then this one is going to be floating or we're going to make a ledge for it kind of right here. Didn't include it, but we're going to make a ledge for it. That way we can, you know, put the rod onto the thing and then put it in there and then we could take this and then secure it back on so uh, that should be that and these are all just stuff that I was you know thinking about before I did this but this is the final product that I want to make and uh, oh yeah by the way I do have a simpler simpler one over here let me know if you guys want me to do that one down below in the comments and here's gonna be the cut list that we're gonna be talking about have all the measurements here and all the stuff is obviously gonna be down below I took some screenshots for you guys and yeah so here we have all the measurements, here we have everything you need to know for that. Here is what the final product is going to look like, hopefully. So... Alright guys, now that you guys saw the CAD, here is the piece of wood that we're going to be working with. So what we're going to be doing guys, all we're going to use for this fishing rod rack is going to be 12 inches by 8 feet. So let's measure this out and start cutting. Okay guys, a little update. Here's what we're gonna do. We're basically gonna use this. See that line that I cut right there? That's gonna be 12 inches basically. And this is all the wood that we're going to need for the entire thing. So it's going to be 12 inches by 8 feet. So that should be good. Now we're going to put that guide on and we're going to cut that off. This is good, 12 inches, pretty solid. Now what we're gonna do, and basically, we're gonna illustrate this all out on that piece of wood. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, we are in business. I have now measured out literally everything, laid them all one through 20. Let's let's start cutting away at this.
guys, little update here. We have now completed all of the cutting. It's pretty nice. We got all those little things. We got over here right on schedule. I'll just pop it up on the screen, actually. That's easier. And, uh, yeah. And let me just show you also the final product. So, there, I think there's nothing left to do. Let's start sanding this thing down. Let's do it. Guys, we are grinding out here. Take a look at that blueprint. Here are all those little tiny pieces right here. We have taken care of those, we have cut those, we have sanded those, those are looking okay. Here is all the other stuff, and we made sure we sanded that pretty nicely. Now what we need to do is measure and draw and drill the holes for these three, and then we'll split this in half. Because, you know, let me just show you the final product again so you guys know what the aim is. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Do not click off so I can show you guys what the end product is going to look like. Thank you guys so much for continuing to watch this video and we'll see you in the time lapse. And guys, just to let you know, I will be putting all the measurements, literally everything that I used in the description below. So if you guys are trying to build this at home, you're gonna, not going to have any problem. And I guess now what we're going to do, we are going to be using... Ah, this one and a half inch spade blade on the drill. We're all gonna we're gonna put them all over each other, so that should work out. All right guys, mission accomplished. We got all those holes down through this thick thing. That was pretty bad. And as you guys could tell, look at the moon. It's night. So, we're gonna call it a day. And we're gonna end the episode. And next episode, I'm gonna finish this off, put it together, and show you guys the final product. But for now guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay fresh. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh, come on. Pull up to like it's fire, more than you know. More than you know. We say okay this time, let's give a show. Give a show. But you gotta hit that bell right down below. So don't miss out and tell me you don't know. Don't know that it's fresher than fresh, even when the day is done. It's fresher than fresh because the day was fun. Oh.